Hello. In this video, you'll learn about using the group edit tables to modify the properties of pipes and nodes in batch operations. To start editing a set of elements, I should click the command Edit Group, then select the pipes and nodes I want to edit, and press Enter. If you select elements from more than one network, you'll be prompted to select one of the networks to start editing the elements of it. This will open the Edit Group dialog, which contains two tabs, one for the pipes and another for the nodes. The table rows represent the pipe or node elements I selected for editing, while each field represent one of the properties. These are the same properties that appear in the Properties dialog when you double-click a single node or a single pipe for editing. There are more fields that you can add to the table using the Field Chooser. Here, you can select the fields to appear in the table and set their order as well. To edit the values of a certain property for all pipes, you can right-click the column header and select the option Edit All. Let's try this on the property Start Invert. Here I can assign one value to the Start Invert of pipes by selecting the operation Set, or use the operations Add or Subtract to add or subtract a certain value from the current invert levels. For example, to increase the Start Invert of all pipes by half a meter, I'll select the operation Add and write a value of 0.5 here then click OK. Let's take another example with the size property. I'll select Edit All, then pick a new diameter, and click OK. Now it's assigned to all the pipes. If you want to edit some of the pipes in the table, you can select them and use the option Edit Selection. In this case, the editing operation you do will affect only the selected rows in the table. Same thing applies to all editable fields. Some fields, however, are not editable, like length and slope. That's why they're shaded in light blue color. For these fields, you only get statistics. It will show the count, minimum, maximum, and mean value of the column. Same operations are applicable for the nodes table. You can use Field Chooser to select and organize fields and you can edit values using the Edit All and Edit Selection commands. You'll find a filter option here that can be very useful when you want to select elements based on a certain property. For example, I can filter the pipes table to show only the pipes that have a length longer than 15 meters. You'll notice that this footer gives information about the number of displayed and selected pipes and the currently active filter. To cancel the filter and display all elements again, simply click the Clear Filter button. You can use the option Zoom to Elements to zoom to the selected elements in the table on the drawing. Once it is displayed, InfraWizard will ask you if you'd like to keep this current view after closing the Edit Group dialog or to restore the original view. I'll select Yes. Now if I close the dialog, I'll have the same view zooming to the selected pipes. There is another option here that makes you not only zoom to the elements, but select them in the drawing as well. I'll try it with these two manholes, for example. They're now selected. And this selection will remain there after closing the dialog. Now let's take a minute to know how to exchange data between group edit tables and an Excel spreadsheet. There are multiple ways to do this. Let me open an empty sheet to start. First, I can copy any part of the table to the spreadsheet by selecting it and clicking the Copy button or pressing Ctrl-C, then paste it here. I can even copy the whole table by clicking the top left corner of it.
Another way to get your data out to Excel is to use the export option here. And there is another one that exports a text file as well. Copying data from Excel to the group edit table is also very useful. I can, for example, use Excel to change the labels of a set of manholes to follow a certain sequence. Then select these cells and press Ctrl C. Go to the first destination cell in the table and press Ctrl V. You see that all cells got the new names. In the same way, I can recalculate invert levels or any other property in the spreadsheet, then copy the new values to the editing table. This concludes today's session about the group edit feature. In the next couple of videos, you'll learn about using the analysis feature to check the crossing points between networks and identify low and high points in pressure networks. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.